there and welcome back! In our last video, we talked about what a claim is and how they're made effectively. If you remember, a claim is a statement that another person could reasonably disagree with. You can also think of it as a statement that requires reasons and evidence to be believed. Also, a thesis statement is defined as the big idea that everything in your paper tries to prove. Okay, so now here's where we get into the real trouble. How do you use these things in a paper? And what kind of claims are there out there to use? For instance, let's say you wanted to write a paper having to do with wearing masks in the current crisis with COVID-19. How do you figure out what you want to claim, and how do you narrow that down? If you know the different kinds of claims that there are out there, they can help you decide what exactly you want to argue. These are called claims of fact, cause and effect, definition, evaluation, and policy. You can think of these five different claims as answering five different types of questions. Fact claims answer, does or did something exist, and is it significant? Clause claims answer, did factor A result in circumstance B? Definition claims answer, what's the nature of this thing, and what category does it belong to? Evaluation claims answer, is this thing good or useful or not? And policy claims answer the question, what should we do? Let's start with claims of fact. Fact claims will always focus on proving something exists, that it's significant, or that it's important. A lot of claims focusing on awareness, for instance, are actually fact claims. For your topic, a claim of fact might be to argue that education on mask sanitation and handling is an important part of proper pandemic response. Next up is cause and effect. Cause and effect arguments are concerned with demonstrating a direct link between two sets of circumstances and showing the mechanism by which one thing directly causes another. These claims are concerned with showing how X leads to Y, or showing how things are directly linked. Going back to our essay topic then, a cause claim might argue that mask wearing in public buildings does lead to a significant decrease in community transmission. Next up, let's talk about definition. Definition claims are concerned with similarities and differences. These claims focus on explaining the nature of a thing and where it does or doesn't fit. With our topic here, perhaps you want to argue which domain of public policy mask wearing fits into. So you argue that mask wearing is a public health issue, which means that regulations should be handled by health boards rather than legislatures. All right, let's take a look at evaluation next. Evaluation claims are exactly what they sound like. It's judging the qualities or fitness of something, either on its own or compared against something else. If you're writing an evaluation claim, you might ask questions like, is this thing good or bad, or effective, or desirable? How does it compare to something else? So, for our mask issue, an evaluation claim might argue that public awareness campaigns are more effective at encouraging mask usage than fines or citations. Finally, let's talk about policy. Policy claims are the ones most commonly associated with deliberative rhetoric. That is, public rhetoric, or rhetoric concerned with what should be done. Policy claims argue for or against a change in the status quo, or they argue whether or not a change would be effective, or how to implement it. For a policy claim, for instance, perhaps you agree with grocery stores requiring mask usage, but you want to argue that, for accessibility reasons, those stores should also offer curbside pickup for customers who can't wear masks for conditions like emphysema or sensory disorders. With our topic of mask wearing and public health, then, you can see how thinking through the different types of claims can help you narrow down your topic into a good thesis statement. With fact claims, we decided to argue about where we should focus. With cause claims, we considered consequences. With definition claims, we talked about the type of issue we're addressing and who should handle the decisions. With evaluation, we weighed out two possibilities and picked the better one. And with policy, we consider how a policy should be enacted to meet certain requirements. 
So with each of these, this is only one way to think about these five claim types, but it has already opened up your one issue into a world of different possibilities. That does it for claims today. So today's dirty little writing secret is a tip for the revision process. What do you do if you've already written a paper and you can't figure out what your thesis statement is? Don't panic because you probably already have one hiding out in your paper. More often than not, people explain their claims best not when writing the introduction, but when they're writing their conclusion. Look at your conclusion and see if you have a sentence hiding out there that captures the whole paper and what you're arguing and move that sentence from the end to the beginning. That'll do it for today. I'll catch you in the next video.